Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi. Welcome back to more Mario Kart 8 The Road to 10,000. Alright, so uh, <laughs> taking a few days off since I recorded the last episode. Got incredibly salty and I'm not quite sure why, to be honest. Uh, I, I find it kind of funny, I don't know. This game, once you record it in bulk enough, you do end up getting quite salty. Um, so, I did what I needed to do, took a break, and uh, I'm back. I, uh, I'm recording right now on the 7th of August, I guess technically in like 15 minutes it's going to be the 8th of August, it's right around midnight. Uh, I'm leaving on the morning of the 9th, and I want to still do this series daily, and I'm leaving for like a week. <laughs> so I'm going to have to record a lot in the next like day and a half, so uh, you're going to see a lot of pre, uh, pre-recorded pre episodes, so I won't be able to respond to your comments, and I also... Uh, won't be able to do suggestions uh, for at least, like I said, about <laughs> seven or eight or ten episodes. But I'm going to try my best to um, take breaks in between recording these and make them all fresh. And you won't even be able to tell that I'm recording them all in bulk, to be completely honest. Uh, I have a lot of suggestions to get to, including... Um, I have a list right now. Pink Gold Peach, Metal Mario, Wario, Blue Yoshi, Pink Shy Guy, and then... Um, and those are all just characters, and then character plus vehicle combinations, I have Rosa plus a combination, and female villager plus a combination. Um, I'm going to decide to spread those out a little bit, I like, I could do one character per episode and just like fly through them, but if this series is probably going to be around the 80 to 100 episodes, there's no use running out of suggestions this early on, so I think I'm going to alternate them, like I'll, I'll use one of those suggestions for like two maybe three episodes go back to something more standard use another one etc etc so what i think i'll actually do right now is knock one of the suggestions off the list which is wario wario is super heavy he's kind of neat he has a funny mustache uh and he makes interesting sounds i'm pretty sure one of the things that he says when you trick is fuck off i'm i'm pretty sure it's really rare to hear but um you know how they all make noises when they trick i'm pretty sure one of them is just straight up fuck off uh i'll go purple because it's wario in fact i could go with a wario wing and uh we're right into a lobby right away this is fantastic we have one two three four okay we're getting people this is what i like to see nice big full lobby to start it off we have uh, who do we have? I actually learned a trick where you can just swipe your finger oh, Swipe your finger across the game path. There you go, and you get everyone on the screen um, I'll go with a ribbon road pick here uh, Wish some people good luck. Unfortunately, uh, the whole room The track started picking before I could wish that good luck So, you know, we're gonna have terrible luck, but we actually get ribbon road This is a track that is incredibly fun um Probably, like I said, in my top 10 of favorite tracks. Uh, we got Cherry here from the United States. Nice points. Uh, it has awesome music. Some kind of surfing theme, which is really weird. And it has two very large no item shortcuts, which are kind of risky, but not really. And if you can pull them off, uh, you get a crazy lead versus those who don't pull them off. So uh, I never actually have pulled them. <laughs> or, okay. Until a few days ago, I'd never actually raced Blue Falcon on this track. Because uh, most of the time online, it either never came up or... I don't know why I hadn't, to be completely honest. It seems like a, like an unlucky play of the cards. But here you go. So drift here, and the mini turbo will cancel out all your momentum. Or at least forward momentum. And it makes landing on that a lot easier. And then there's the second one, as you can see. It requires a little bit more finesse. But uh, if, you put in a, if you put in the time on time trial mode and actually practice it... Uh, it's not too bad, and as you can see, the lead you get with it is ridiculous. Right, so I'm going to fail a little bit there, but it's fine. Got the recovery. Don't trick off the ramp that I just went over. It's actually slower. You want to drift off of it and hold the mini turbo all the way to down here. Um, you can hop over that little uh, off-road bit, save yourself some time, and then generally what you want to do is trick, drift, and I missed the drift. So as you saw there, my sideways momentum would have carried me right over the edge so not even gonna chance it on lap two uh it is a lot faster to do though like if if you if you if, if you think you can even theoretically go for it you should because if you can pull it off uh the lead like i said versus those who don't do it obviously in higher lobbies more people are going to be able to do it um and i feel like i can do it probably 70 to 80 percent of the time uh 
and I barely have ever time trialed this track. It's really not difficult. Like I said, it just requires a little bit of practice, like anything in this game. Uh, I think I just, I just split. Look at that. I just threaded the needle perfectly into that. Um, anyway, I should be able to make it here. So yeah. Ooh. As you saw there, I missed the mini turbo, and I still had a lot of sideways momentum, which was hard to cancel out. But that should all but secure my race, because uh, this shroom spot, as you can see to my right right there, you can cut through those... Uh, well, right behind us, you can see there. Uh, you can cut through that with a mushroom, and it saves a ton of time. Uh, as you can see on the minimap, the link just did, and in fact, everyone's basically going to be doing it right now. Um, that saves quite a lot of time as well, so you have to be careful in the last corner if you don't have a mushroom. But in general, I didn't even get to talk about the theming. Look at this place. It It is basically Toy Story bedroom. And you have Mario Kart like boomerangs and mushrooms, you have like model carts in the background, you have those wind-up toys from Bowser's Castle on the track. It is a beautiful track, and the music is awesome, and it just... Uh, definitely top 10 for me. It's such a fun track. Um, let's try uh, some PPS. I'd be down for a Piranha Plant Slide. Uh, if you're playing on a European version of the game, it's Piranha Plant Pipeway. Which is a far better name. Um, so yeah, I don't know. How are, how are you guys doing? I, uh, I'm, I'm doing good. As we actually get Piranha Plant Pipeway, this is another fantastic track. It has, uh, it has some interesting things involving tricks, which I'll mention when they happen, but until then, it's pretty much just, uh, just, you know, race. It's not, is this track also, also, also has fantastic music, but not as, not as good as, I don't know. Like, I feel like every time we get a new track we haven't raced before, I have to point out the music is awesome. So it's faster there to uh, stick to the left. Faster here to, I don't know. You should go for those three coins, but I decided not to and just front run here. Uh, you should stick on top of those if you can. I just failed the hops to do so. It's not much slower to go underneath, but it's slower. And right here, I don't even know what this underwater pipe section is. It's so weird. The physics on it are bizarre. I'm going to go wide here to get coins. And then, uh, then you hop up. Uh, be careful not to get low glider there. If you trick really late on the blue glider pad, you'll get uh, a low glider, and you actually won't make the, uh... Damn. You actually won't make it to the other side. Um, as unfortunately I got red shell there, there's absolutely nothing I can do. And, uh... Shouldn't have tricked on that. Oh. Ugh. Okay. It's be really careful. Don't ever use a boost on that corner as you will go right off the edge. Oh, you totally just heard that, right? Wario totally just said fuck off. You all heard that. Go rewind the tape. I wasn't even talking during it. You can hear it crystal clear. I, I'm 100% sure that one of his trick things is fuck off. And it's wonderful because I know that's not what he says. But Anyway, on this last lap, I'll try to point out some tricks of the course. Hop here once and then trick and it's a little faster. Um, it's actually faster to drift off of it and charge a mini turbo, but it's really hard. Um, super mini turbo, obviously. Okay, I actually did that portion properly. You're supposed to neutral hop twice. Right here, you can get some really weird hops where if you release it right there, as you just saw, you can do that. Backflip off of this, always. As you can see, the boost you get from the backflip trick is a little bit delayed, and it actually pushes you through the corner as opposed to all the other tricks which don't push you through the corner. That's one specific point in this game. Uh, there aren't many, but that's one specific point in the game where the type of trick you do really does speed you up. Also, Wario's horn is a fart. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Uh, that was a pretty easy first place. Prana Plant Pipeway is one of the harder tracks in the game, to be completely honest. As you probably could tell from this video. Uh, well, maybe not, because I front ran it quite considerably. But uh, there's a lot of little tricks. Like I said, like jumping into that first boost panel, or boost panel, jumping into that first ramp is a little bit faster. Um, on that Pipeway section uh, near the end of the lap, 
where you're going down through the waterfalls. Um, the physics on that are just fucking bizarre. Like, like you saw there, sometimes it's two hops, sometimes if you release it a little late, you'll just fly over the damn thing and, like, lose traction with the ground. Uh, it's always faster to backflip off the end of it. It's just very weird physics. Um, if we get Bowser's Castle, we're three for three on getting tracks we've never played and getting tracks that I love. Bowser's Castle has some of the best music in the game, and it's just awesome. Unfortunately, <laughs> I somehow got really salty last episode that we got Super Bell Subway twice. And to be fair, it's really stupid. And we get Super Bell Subway again. But uh, I actually went in my off time between videos and I uh, time trialed this for about half an hour with Blue Falcon. Just so that, um, I mean, hell, if the game's going to give it to you, constantly online for some reason everyone votes for this damn track yeah it's fun but i mean basically what i was doing was silly i was upset that i was constantly getting it because i'm bad at it so i did what any reasonable person would do and i put in some time on time trial mode and i got better at the course with blue falcon so that now constantly when it gets picked i'll still bitch because why is this track so popular, and why is Nintendo still force-feeding it down our throats, right? But at least now, when it gets picked, I can race it to a little bit higher of a level. As I believe I have drift speed back. I love honking to the beat of the music sometimes. You'll notice me doing that on some tracks. Uh, when I have Wario as the character I'm racing as, I especially love doing it because, like I said, his freaking horn is a fart. Yeah, that was... I know that train's coming too, every time on lap 2, but what do you do? You can either go tight, and if you make it grass, you just cut off a lot of time. If you don't make it, like... Okay, so I backed up to get a coin, and I ended up just getting red-shelled. Everyone behind me had uh, shrooms, it looks like. Hopefully I can pull some. Highly unlikely. I actually pull a shroom. I think I'll actually save this for the very end of lap 3. Because I trust my... Ooh! Okay, I was going to say, I trust my ability to front-run alongside Caitlyn. Uh, or at least keep up with Caitlyn, at the very least. Uh, I assume I'll be able to do that. And uh, if I have a shroom at the end and there's no lightning, I should have this easily. As, uh... Yeah. What you just saw there is something that's just beautiful in this game. If you have a... If you're still under the effects of a mushroom boost and you release a super mini turbo, um, it kind of chains the boost. It is slightly faster, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I want to believe that it is because I see it all the time. And I mean, it also just looks cool, so you might be doing it for style points, but I can also imagine why it would be faster. If you release a super mini turbo while you still have the residual effects of a mushroom, when you use a mushroom, you notice how Wario gets fire under his wheels. Um, if you release the super mini turbo while you still are under the last milliseconds of mushroom um it chains the fire throughout the entire super mini turbo like i said don't know if it actually boosts the speed or whether it just looks cool as fuck but you basically get a super mini turbo that you can hop out with fire um not entirely sure if that's where the term fire hopping came from but it would make sense wouldn't it um regardless we get a third track we have never played before um in one video, which is fantastic, and I think you'll notice that this episode has been a lot more chilled. Um, or has that was was that already four races? If that was already four races, you're gonna get a special because I'm not gonna end the episode. <laughs> uh, this is Dragon Driftway. It is incredible. It's also hard as fuck. Uh, it's very based on lines. If you ha have better lines than people, you will outrace them. Uh, 
uh, he says as he takes a really wide line. Hopefully that broke his red shell. It looks like it did. Uh, I'm not going to go wide for the coins, actually. I'm just going to take the line, hop it out, and drift off the side of the damn course. And immediately get red shelled by Caitlyn. Alright, I recovered a coin. I'm going to try to avoid the pack here. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, Wario honestly has some of the best like voice acting. Wario... Oh, baby! Whoa! Alright, so I tricked there, and I noticed uh, last episode I explained why tricking sometimes isn't beneficial, uh, because it cancels out all your current boosts and momentum. Um, I explained that, yeah, this episode totally is five races long. I hope you guys enjoyed this special. Ah, uh, oh, look at me snipe the guy, uh, Caitlyn, I feel bad. There we go, drifting over that's faster. Just like most other ramps in the game. Don't trick, drift. I'm gonna collect my three coins, get a little faster. So yeah, as you can tell, the physics on this track are bizarre. Um, the lines are complicated. Don't slide there, come on, Kuh. As I get a shroom, I should- No! I was about to say, I can easily win because of that shroom cut at the end. Uh, maybe I can pull a shroom here. No. I might actually get past. I'm totally gonna get past. Because I did not have tricking speed back. What just went on behind me? Okay. Try to hold. I don't know what's going on. Guy the god flow. What happened? Oh my god. That, okay, that's gonna be the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what happened there? A freaking guy at the finish line got red shelled. Somebody had a super 8 behind me. Everything went wrong, but somehow things still went so well. And we're at 5,900 points. Ending off episode 9. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, consider checking out the other episodes. And I hope to see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Have a good day. See you later. Peace.